here um, at Tech Live with Melanie Gorka, info, info.nl. Um, Melanie, you're quite an advocate for combining um, IoT with design thinking. Can you explain why? Yeah, sure. So I think that uh, design thinking essentially is a method for allowing uh, user and human-centric value to be added to technology or to really consider it when you're designing for technology. And I think in IoT especially, Internet of Things, it allows you to really solve problems because you're going beyond the constraints of a mobile phone or a computer. You're able to make um, any device intelligent. And so combining that with design thinking means that you can really, you know, achieve sort of some really amazing opportunities either for interaction and engagement or you can solve some big problems because you're no longer constrained to particular devices. Design thinking allows you to um, consider context and, uh, yeah, the real value of something. Um, when you put those two things together, it's quite powerful. So do you have some examples, real life examples, of the good, the bad and the ugly? Oh, sure, yeah. Um, well, I think that uh, the good is something like a smart jacket, which is a um, very lightweight fabric that's been given sensors that allows you to put it around a baby or um, someone who has quite fragile skin and to sense biometrics um, and uh, really get a sense of their health. Um, and this is a really good invention because it's allowed people to, um, you know, protect uh, fragile skin or someone who's vulnerable and still get information that uh, helps doctors to really tailor care. Um, ugly is uh, something quite, a lot of devices out there are examples of the ugly, um, where it's, uh, you know, a lot of really cheap um, pieces of plastic or uh, toys or um, experiences that really don't add anything of value to people or to businesses um, and are just a, a piece of junk that's been made smart by adding some sensors into it. Um, and I think the bad uh, um, can be an extension of the ugly where we have, um, you know, experiences that don't match the expectations of people. So you have an object that has a huge potential, um, maybe a, a connected toothbrush or maybe a smart home um, sensor but then the software doesn't actually do anything of interest to the person. So the designers of this product have actually forgotten that the technology and the digital technology is really important and that the experience should have been considered. Um, so I think that's where a lot of bad examples of IoT happen, where people just don't take the next step in actually designing um, interactions that uh, take it to the next level. So can you quantify how much uh, stuff out there is, is bad and how much is good and how are we, when are we going to get to the stage where IoT is useful for the user? Well, uh, I can't quantify necessarily in numbers, but we have uh, billions of devices out there that are connected to the internet today and that's going to increase to trillions and of that I'd say of the 63% that exist anyways for consumers, um, I'd say about 60 to 70, even 80% of that is bad and or ugly. Um, but I think we're at the cusp of a really interesting revolution where people are demanding better products, better experiences, more out of IoT. And so I'm hoping that in the next you know, coming months and years, let's say two years, that we'll see a shift and see at least 50 to 60% of those be very good um, applications of IoT. Um, and the nice thing is it's all based on consumer demand. So the more they see sophisticated uses of IoT, the more they'll demand it. The more they'll ask for Apple level experiences in IoT rather than uh, dollar store level experiences in IoT, which is what I think we have right now. So trashy, trashy things. So any final advice for companies who are thinking we need to do something with IoT? I think ask the question why? You know, instead of just saying, this is really cool, I hear IoT is the new big wave, ask why. Why do you need this? What do your consumers actually need? How can you add, um, you know, fun or play or useful or solve problems for the people that you're already working with? Start with question why and then look for people who can help you continue that line of inquiry and create something really interesting in the connected world with IoT. Thank you, Melanie.